Hello everybody on YouTube, this is the Dolce Melody again, and in this video and to others, I am going to read the feared fanfiction Cupcakes by Surgeon Sprinkles, World's Greatest Party Clown. So, and the story, before I begin, the story has a warning. This fanfiction is incredibly gory and may ruin your appreciation of a certain My Little Pony character as well as the title of Baked Goods. Read at your own risk. So, if you don't like gory stuff and so on, I suggest you just leave this video and watch some My Little Pony or rainbows or flowers. So, let's begin. And by the way, I'm going to comment on the way. So, yeah. The air was warm, the sun was shining, and every pony in Ponyville was having a glorious day. The town square was bustling and crowded, and busy ponies filled the streets. All the pony folks seemed to have somewhere specific to be, all except Rainbow Dash. Her place was in the sky. She tore freely through the air, speeding one way and the next, buzzing the treetops and raising the wind. The blue pigs who swooped over a schoolyard, much to the delight of the children, then climbed several hundred feet and dove, streaking downward as fast as she could. Sec seconds before hitting her ground, hitting the ground, her wings flew open and she pulled up back into the clear blue. Rainbow felt alive. Well. Suddenly Dash remembered that she had somewhere to be. She was supposed to meet with Pinkie Pie in five minutes. Dash had got so caught up in her exercises that she would nearly forgotten that Pinkie had asked her to meet her at Supercube Corner at three. Pinkie hadn't said why or what they'd be doing, but Dash knew that with Pinkie it could be anything. Dash wasn't sure if she really really wanted to go though. She was so engaged with her stunts that she thought about blowing Pinky off to continue flying. But Dash's conscience got the better of her. She knew that it would hurt Pinky's feelings. After all, Pinky had said that it was going to be something special for ju just for the two of them. Dash considered it and thought, why not? What did she have to lose? Heck, it might be more pranking. Pinky might have found a bunch more fun stuff to pull on folks, and they, they'd they had so much fun the last time. Pinky kept in overdrive to make up for the lost time and sped to her appointment. Yikes. When Dash walked into the store, she was immediately greeted by her host, who was bouncing in excitement. Yay, you're here. I've been waiting all day, said the jumping pony. Sorry if I'm late, Pinky. I was doing my afternoon exercise and lost track of time, Dash apologized. Pinky giggled and responded in a gleefully reassuring tone. Oh, that's okay. You're here now. What's a few more minutes? I've been so excited thinking about all the fun stuff we're gonna do. I haven't stopped bouncing since I woke up. I mean, I almost forgot to breathe. I've been so happy. Dash gave a slightly uncomfortable laugh. She had always appreciated Pinkie Pie's friendly, outgoing way of life, but Pinkie's over evident enthusiasm almost creeped her out. Dash maintained a polite expression, however. If Pinky was this worked up, whatever she had planned must be good. So are you ready to get started, Rainbow Dash? I've got everything all ready. The pink pony said. Dash said herself up. You betcha, Pinky. So, what do you got planned? We're gonna prank somebody. I got a couple of good ones I've been thinking about. Or maybe you've got some stunts you think I should try. Or perhaps... Dot, dot, dot. Making cupcakes, Pinky heavily announced. Baking? Dash was disappointed. Pinky, you know I'm not good at baking. Remember last time? Oh, that's not a problem at all. I only need your help making them. I'll be doing most of the work, Pinky explained. Dash thought about it for a second. Well, alright, I guess that's okay. What exactly do you need me to do? That's the spirit. Here you go. Pinky handed Dash a cupcake. Dash was puzzled. I thought I was helping you bake. You will be. I made this one just for you before you got here. So, is this like taste testing or something? Soda, Pinky said. Dash shrugged and popped the pastry in her mouth. She chewed a bit and swallowed. Not bad. Okay, what now? Dash asked. Now? Pinky informed her. You take a nap. Puzzled, Dash opened her mouth but felt instantly lightheaded. A wave of dizziness washed over her. The world spun. And seconds later, she collapsed to the floor. Dun, dun, dun. What's going to happen? <clears throat> when Dash regained consciousness, she found herself in a dark room. Ugh. She tried to shake her head, but before but found that a torn leather strap held it firmly in place. Jesus, 
<laughs> she struggled to move, but praises around her chest and limbs glued her to a rag formed from a series of sturdy pl planks which spread her legs wide apart. Ugh, this is getting creepier and creepier. Dash's wings were the only part of her not tied down and they fluttered frantically while she struggled to escape. As she breathed, Pinky jumped suddenly into her line of sight. Goody, you're awake! Now we can get started, Pinky stated gleefully. She bounded into the darkness and quickly reappeared, pushing a small cart covering with a cl covered with a cloth. Pinky, what's going on? I can't move, Dash said urgently. Well, duh, that's because you're tied down, cheated Pinky. That's why you can't move. I didn't think you'd need help. You'd need to be told that. But why? What's happening? I thought you said I was gonna going to help you make cupcakes. You are helping. You see, I ran out of the special ingredient, and I need you to get more. Special ingredient? Dash was now breathing heavily and starting to panic. What special ingredient? I. Uh, Pinky giggled and responded, "You silly." Jesus Christ, man. Dash's eyes widened and her face contoured in fear. Then she started to laugh and said in a voice bordering on hysteria, Whoa, you really got me there, Pinkie Pie. I mean, tricking me into thinking I'm gonna get made into a cupcake. I gotta tell you, this is the best prank in yet. You win, you're the best. Pinkie only giggled even more. Oh, thanks, Dash, but I haven't done any pranks today, so I can't accept your praise. What? Dash was struggling again. Pinky, come on, this isn't funny. Then why were you laughing? Before Dash could answer, Pinky grabbed the cloth and whipped it off the cart. On the cart was a tray containing various sharp medical tools and knives, carefully organized and wickedly shaped, sharp as, they, as well as a large medical bag. Ew. Dash was now in full panic mode. She was starting to hyperventilate. Her mind raced as she tried to reason with the pink pony. You can't do this, Pinky. I'm your friend. I know you are, and that's why I'm so happy that I've got you here. We get to share your last moments together, just you and me. Pinky was skipping again. But the other ponies will wonder where I am. When the clouds pile up, they'll come looking for me, and then you'll get find out. found out. Dash cried in desperation. Ugh, creepy. Oh, Dash, said Pinky. Don't worry, there are plenty of Pegasus ponies to take care of a few clouds. And besides, no one will find out. I mean, how long do you think I've been doing this? And with that ominous statement, the light suddenly came to life and revealed the rest of the room. Oh no, Dash reeled in horror at the image presented to her. The room was decorated with a typical but twisted Pinkie Pie flare. Colorful streamers of dry entrails fluttered around in the ceiling. Brightly painted skulls of all sizes were attached to the walls, and organs done up in pastel filled with helium were tied to the backs of chairs. This is disgusting! Ew! The tables and chairs were made of bones and the preserved flesh of past ponies. Ew! Dash cranked up, Dash cranked upon the centerpiece of the table nearest to her. The heads of four foals, their eyes, clo their eyes closed as if they were sleeping, were wearing party hats made from their own skin. Jesus. With a thrill of horror, Dash recognized one of them as Apple Bloom's classmate, Twist. Isn't that the nerdy girl who likes to make her own sweets? Ugh. Dash's eyes started back and forth and then fell upon a patchwork banner hanging from the rafters. Made from several tenant pony hides, the word Life is a party was scrawled on it into blood. This is just... Ugh! Jesus Christ, man!